What's up guys, it's James here and it's time for another PSVR tutorial and today I am showing you how to set up your Elite Dangerous uh, with optimal settings for VR so stay tuned you don't want to miss this one. Alright, so today we are looking at Elite Dangerous. The reason I picked that game is I got a lot of requests for it and a lot of people wanted to know, is it possible? Can I play it with my PlayStation VR? And the answer is yes, and it works really good. Um, and I'm going to show you a few things that I did to modify Elite Dangerous to get it working optimally with VR. Alright, so I've got my Trinus loaded up here. It's all good to go. I got my Steam loaded up, it's all good to go. If you haven't seen my other videos, you might want to watch those just to see how to get this set up, uh, up to this point. But uh, I'm skipping all that and we're going to go straight into the game. Now, one thing I want to mention is that in VR, um, I found anyways that playing Elite Dangerous, the game feels like it's meant for VR. It, it has a great feeling, it's awesome. But the problem in the game is that the text on the HUD is way too small. It's, it's really hard to read in VR, uh, and I found that to be a real big problem. Now, one thing I did to make that a little easier uh, for you to read when you're in VR is I found this great site right here called Elite Dangerous HUD Color Theme Editor and it was recommended that if you go with a green similar to this that you're going to have a much better experience in VR and so basically um, you go to this link I'll put the uh, link in the description below uh, and you create a HUD color and then you go to this little block here of code and copy it all right, and then what you're going to need to do is um, you're actually going to go to a file in your Elite Dangerous folder. So for me, it's in this PC, it's in uh, C Drive, Users, um, my name, J Rogway, App Data, Local, Frontier Developments. Elite Dangerous, I, I'm sorry, it's like, it's really buried in there. Options, Graphics, and then Graphics Configuration Override. Now that is where you are going to override the preset HUD color. So you right click it, you open it with WordPad, and you add this code right here, okay? I just replaced the whole thing and it and it worked fine so uh, actually this base code is available down at the bottom of the site you can just copy and paste that and then replace matrix red matrix green and matrix blue with the color of the HUD that you want so right now I have that green HUD alright and you save that close it and your HUD color will be set to whatever you want it to be so that's number one, that's step number one, very important, like I said, if you can't read the menus, that, that default red that they have in there is horrible. It's, uh, it's really, really hard to read and the size of the font is way too small. The other thing that I found important is to set your, um, your graphic settings a certain way. And I found this on a site, uh, how to get your... Uh, Elite Dangerous looking good in VR and these graphic settings if you want to screenshot this or if you want to pause the video and copy those settings right there that's really important that you turn these to this setting these settings exactly again to make that text much more readable alright so I found that this was pretty important okay so Copy that down and uh, write or put it into your game exactly as you see it here. Seems to work really well. Now, one thing I will mention: HMD headset uh, quality 2.0. If your computer can't handle that, 
drop it down to whatever your computer can handle okay next like I said we've got Trinus loaded up we've got Steam loaded up we're pretty much ready to go with the game okay so one thing I want to mention is that you don't want to play it from the desktop launcher you want to play it from the Steam launcher and that's going to allow you the option to play it in VR so you right click Elite Dangerous play in Steam VR mode play it's going to launch and I've already actually got my headset uh, set up and ready to go but we're going to log in and now the game's going to load alright here we go now I'm just gonna go to 64 bit and play okay so the game is going to load and we've got our client here alright and just so you know um, I've already sent my headset view over to the headset so uh, sometimes this client goes back to um, the extended display it doesn't make any sense so what I do is I just click the client shift windows right bring it back to the main screen this client by the way is very useful um, when you're making your resolution settings and, and your adjustments I would use this rather than the actual game uh, because it's easier to see it's easier to make those dis you know comparisons really quickly um, but we're gonna let it load <clears throat> and I'm just gonna do a training mission um, just to show you that it does work you can see it's working already here's my headset and uh, everything's responding beautifully another thing I want to mention is that it's almost I don't want to say impossible but it's very difficult to play this game without uh, a hottest you know uh, uh, hands-on uh, trigger and throttle this type of a setup and I do want to say that if you have this luxury in the game it feels incredible um, if you can position it the same way that it looks in the game where you've got your accelerator or your your throttle on the left side your control stick on the right side the level of immersion is much higher uh, because it it responds immediately to any time you make an adjustment or a movement and it really feels like those hands in the game are your hands All right so I'm gonna put the headset on I'm gonna play a training mission just to show you how it goes talk a little bit about the text and uh, how it looks it may not show too well by the way on this client but let me tell you that in the headset it looks incredible all right okay so I'm going to start a training mission just to show you that it works beautifully we'll just do the first one it's easy and we'll let that load up and like I said the first thing you should see is that your custom HUD color has changed alright you won't see it right away because the HUD isn't actually loaded until uh, she starts up my ship so we'll just wait a second here for it to load and there we go now like I said when I look down and I look at my surroundings with the position of the uh, throttle and the control stick it feels perfect as far as you know like immersion goes those feel like those are actually my hands and because I don't actually take my hands off these at any time in the game uh, because I'm using this the entire time I'm playing the game um, that immersion stays with you now if you look at my HUD you can see all the the text has changed to green which is what I set it for it's much easier to read okay and you can see now I'm just throttling up that works and I honestly I can't tell you how amazing it feels to sit in here and be flying this ship in VR it is unbelievable all right so I'm gonna just fly around a little bit here I've done this a million times um, I'll admit I'm not good at this game so I didn't want to actually embarrass myself uh, by going into a real battle but uh, it is an amazing experience it's it's it is really really good all right so you got to try it test it out and uh, give it a go because it is unbelievable all right so as you can tell it does work it works fantastic 
like I said, it's it's an experience you have to have with VR, in my opinion. And unfortunately, uh, if this is a deal breaker for you with the throttle and the joystick, <clears throat> try to find a cheap option. Try to find something else that might work for you. Um, because there's so many keys in uh, Elite Dangerous, because there's so many, you know, landing gear and and scoops and and you know uh, firearm like there's so many different buttons that you're using throughout the game you don't want to take your headset off and be looking at the keyboard every two minutes that uh, that really breaks the immersion level when you're playing this game anyways I hope you found that useful um, like I said this is a must-have experience in my opinion for VR it was meant for it feels amazing uh, you're going to be addicted for hours and hours and hours, and um, it's going to be a great experience. All right, until next time, keep watching. Make sure to like or subscribe. I'm going to have many more videos coming. Um, stay tuned. Thanks. See ya.